I was faced with it. My mother was in a hospice with a life expectancy of about two weeks. The medical director, who I'd known for many years, took me aside and said, Laura, I think your mum really is dying now. How are you going to cope? She did not want to be a burden. She was fiercely independent and she wanted assisted suicide. And she was extremely angry with me because at the time I was opposing Lord Joffrey's bill. And she really harangued me over it, and it was awful. And a couple of nights, I was just in floods of tears, and my lovely nephew came and put his arms around me. And I thought, what am I doing? You know, I am denying my own mother what she wants. Anyway, she couldn't have it. And after she had an argument with the with the chaplain in the hospice actually, she began to realise that even though her body was crook, actually her mind worked fine. And she decided she was determined to be independent again. If she couldn't have what she wanted as assisted suicide, she then went home, lived at home independently, entertaining her friends coming in, going to the shops. She had to have somebody drive her because she couldn't drive anymore. Um, but she lived for four years in that time, she saw her two great-grandsons born and she said they were the best four years of her life. And she was glad that she couldn't have ended it when she wanted to because she would have never had all those precious moments. 